All right, motherfuckers, this is Master Marks, and I'm coming back with another motherfucking goddamn live video. And today's video is simply titled, Soraya is a channel changer. Not a game changer, a channel changer. Now, as always, AEW cocksucker fucking AEW cocksuckers shout out to the AEW pack smokers AEW cocksuckers have always said oh this person is a game changer this person is going to make AEW so much better what the fuck is Soraya doing putting spray paint on Tony Storm's ass and letting her put her ass in their face What the fuck is Soraya doing? What what's such a game changer about Soraya? I'm confused. I need to uh, uh <laughs> at some point I need to know what the fuck is a game changer about her. Because nothing has changed. They keep getting all these people who are alleged game changers and nothing has changed. There's no growth. The quality is still shitty. The matches are still shitty. The shit is still boring. Nobody gives a fuck about AEW. And nobody gives a fuck about Soraya. I mean, Paige was decent in the ring. She was a decent wrestler. She has an attractive look. She was a nice diva. She had to look. She a freak. We know she a motherfucking freak. You know she get on her knees and sucks off. We already know that. But. As far as the game changer for women's wrestling, <laughs> I mean, for AEW in general, AEW need more than a game changer. They need a game creator, a game leader, a game CEO, a game owner, some fucking direction, some fucking Jesus, some fucking, uh, they need to get Buddha, they need to get motherfucking Allah, they need to get Jah. They need to get every motherfucking person that they could get to make that quality and that company worth something. Because right now, it ain't worth spit on a stick. She's a channel changer. When she come on the TV, you change the channel. A casual fan, a casual fan of wrestling, they'll turn on AEW, they see Soraya come on there, and they'll be like, oh, that's the girl who was getting fucked on camera. Damn, she still look good. Her titties got bigger. Damn, she looks great. Yeah, let me change this shit. They're going to go watch something else. They're going to go watch motherfucking CSI or motherfucking... Uh, <laughs> they going to go watch fucking... What's another show? Go watch old episodes of Dexter or some shit before they sit there and watch through a full Soraya match. Nobody give a fuck about no damn Soraya, man. And then not to mention, she is one of the most nastiest humans I've ever seen. Like, the more and more you get to see her in AEW and see her talk, and listen to her talk, and see just how she is, outside of that, the fact that we already knew she was an SJW, she's a nasty fucking human. Like, she's one of those people that thinks she's God's gift to wrestling, and you're not. You wrestled a few matches, you wrestled in WWE for a little bit, and you had a fucked up neck for the remaining portion of your career. You got a paper neck. Now you're back, and you're still not doing shit. You're back in AEW where you have so much creative freedom. You still can't talk on the mic. You still can't put on a show. Yes, you still look how you look, but it's not enough because your charisma is lacking. Tony Storm, Tony Storm looks attractive. She's an attractive woman, but do you think people give a fuck about watching her on the fucking TV for matches and hours and time? No, they don't. They don't fucking care about that shit. They don't care. It's a fucking channel, fucking channel changer. You put her on the motherfucking TV, they get a glance at the titties, they get a glance at the ass, whatever, whatever. They get back to the days where whatever, whatever. They get on Pornhub and go beat their fucking meat to watch an Xavier Woods fuck her. They ain't got to watch no match with Serena. You already see it. You can see her titties and her pussy. And, and, and her with a motherfucking, what's the thing? A butt plug. Her freaky ass. 
Why the fuck would you watch a Soraya match? Who gives a fuck if she's wrestling right now? She's not even relevant. She was barely relevant when she was in WWE. She wasn't even around long enough to be relevant in WWE. She's still not an AJ Lee. She's not a Charlotte Flair. She's not a Mandy Rose or a Trish Stratus or a Lita or a Victoria or a Molly Holly or a Beth Phoenix. She's not none of those fucking people. It's not like she was a legend. The only reason why WWE would give her a Hall of Fame is because she wasn't technically able to still wrestle. And once niggas have to be forced to, re to retire, WWE give you a Hall of Fame. She's not a Hall of Famer. She's not a game changer. Because guess what? If she was a game changer, when they said it back then, you could take a look right now and shit would be different. It's not no different. All of these people talking about all these guys as game changers and all these girls as game changers, and it'd be the same fucking game. They still getting 21 to 0. They getting their ass blown the fuck out. And I know Soraya love that. She love getting her ass blown out. Whatever. It is what it is. But they getting fucking beat. She's not a game changer. She's a channel changer. A channel changer. When you see her on the TV, you change the motherfucking channel. She done had all this time where she ain't been wrestling in the ring and ain't really been cutting promos like that. And she hasn't done anything to progress when it comes to being on the mic or progress when it comes to mic or to, to character work. What is her character? A person who owns a fucking house? Saying that every place that she goes is her house? She can't even say AEW is her house because she hasn't done shit in AEW. Look at the ratings. That's Jay Cargill's motherfucking house. That ain't your house, girl. Nobody give a fuck about no damn Soraya. Come on, man. <laughs> Soraya is a fucking channel changer. She just like all those other people that they said were game changers. And, oh, that's a game changer. Dean Moxley is a game changer. Guess who's still winning? WWE. <laughs> WWE, they released their whole motherfucker roster. Brought all their asses back. Still dominating fucking AEW. AEW still can't compete with, with, with WWE. Then they had Daniel Bryan, CM Punk, FTR, MJF, Hangman Page, Kenny Omega, the Young Bucks, Keith Lee, which people fucking forgot Keith Lee existed. Swerve Scott, or Swerve Smith, whatever the fuck his name is, Isaiah Swerve Scott. They had Rick Ross on the TV. Mike Tyson in there. Taz is there. Hook is still cutting no promos. Orange Cassidy not doing shit as always. Matt Hardy not doing shit. Jeff Hardy high as a motherfucking kite. Jeff Jarrett still trying to... I don't know what the fuck Jeff Jarrett is still doing in wrestling. Sting ain't doing shit. Brody Lee ain't get a chance to do shit because he passed away. R.I.P. Brody Lee. The Dark Order is dead. Ricky Starks is wasting his time when he can go be in fucking WWE and be a successful Intercontinental Champion. Get him a Hall of Fame ring. He got charisma. Got some swag. Dude can talk on the mic. Powerhouse Hobbs wasting his life. Warlow wasting his life. None of these people in AEW are considered game changers. You want to know a game changer? I'll tell you one. Cody Rhodes. That's a game changer. Because when Cody Rhodes, who created a company with another owner, took his talents to the previous company that he worked for, that's a game changer. Soraya went to AEW, or Soraya went to AEW, and she was painting booties with spray paint, doing diva shit. You motherfuckers who cocksuck women's wrestling, y'all sure do love when these motherfuckers do diva shit. I mean, hey, listen, hey, look. I wouldn't mind seeing, hey, Tony Storm get her booty painted with some fucking edible booty paint. Hey, I'm not saying I ain't going to watch that shit. But I'm not going to watch a full episode of AEW to fucking see that. I'll change the channel. Go take a piss. Go get some popcorn. Go get some peanuts. I don't drink beer, but go get my homeboy a beer. So that motherfucker get drunk as a motherfucker and can't drive home. I got to drive his motherfucking ass home. Cody Rhodes is a game changer because he changed the game for AEW. 
He was a talent that they had on their, in their company that walked, went to the other side, and changed the game. All these WWE guys who was originally in WWE and moved over, or NXT and moved over to AEW, they haven't changed shit in AEW. You got Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan had a whole fucking movement. Where he, what is he doing now? About to face MJF in an in a, a unnecessary fucking feud for what? If you're going to have MJF get beat this damn quick, why the fuck you give him the championship? Well, none of these people are game changers. And I'm going to tell you straight up, when it comes to Soraya, she is a channel changer. She is a motherfucker that you could go see on X videos, Spank Bang, Pornhub, She's Freaky.com, uh, Thoughtholes.com. You could, see, you could go find her on all them websites. There is nothing about changing anything in AEW that Soraya is fucking doing. At the end of the day, Soraya is not a game changer. She is a channel changer. This has been Master Marks. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment. Tell us if you hate us. Tell us if you love us. I wish all the AEW pack smokers a wonderful motherfucking weekend. Make sure you get you some consistent cat. Make sure you go get you some fucking money. Go chill with your motherfucking dogs. Play pool, smoke weed, chill. Do whatever the fuck you like to do. Fuck Tony Khan. Fuck Soraya, Soraya, Sarita, Sanita, whatever the fuck her name is. Fuck Kenny Omega. He's not going to WWE. People get that the fuck out of your head. I'm off this bitch. <laughs>